So the first time I woke up this morning, it was around, let's say, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. I got out of bed, you know, went to the bathroom, and then I cracked my back. And it was the most earth-shattering giga crack I've ever had. And I realized the next time I decide, you know, to pop my back, I'm probably going to die. So as my final video, um, I figured, you know what, let's end out on a heater. Let's talk about Scythe and why I think it's the most unique weapon. Also, my final wish is that you subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Trying to hit 100k before the end of the year. That is the goal. You guys have been awesome with it lately, and I super appreciate the support. I should add, you know, just a, a little disclaimer in case people don't understand that was actually like a joke. I did crack my back, and yes, it was like ridiculous. I thought my whole spine shifted, but I'm going to be fine. Uh, I'm not actually going to like die or anything like that. But um, topic of the video, Scythe, unique. I personally just start off with the statement. I don't know if this is really a hot take. I don't think so. And I'll explain, you know, why I think this. Okay, I just got absolutely owned. But anyways, ignoring that. I think that Scythe is the most unique weapon that Brawlhalla has ever seen. And I don't think we're going to ever see a weapon like it again. Now, you might be wondering, okay, well, what about, say, a weapon like Greatsword? Greatsword is pretty unique. It's added a lot of new things. And I would agree. But when you look at the impact that Scythe has, and also... Um, well, I'll get into the next part later, but when you look at the impact that Scythe has had, it is insane. I mean, I don't think there was a weapon in any regards. Like, when it comes close to design and feel, I don't think there's anything close whatsoever. I think, uh, I think that Scythe has to be the smoothest feeling weapon. I mean, everything, even on miss, uh, it doesn't feel that terrible, especially if you are playing at a higher dex. Even lower dex, you know, Scythe, you're not really going to feel anything. Like, everything just flows into each other so nicely. You have that option of uh, extra inputs or the, what is it called? Active input. I can't believe I actually forgot it. Um, that was, like, one of the first big things they added to a weapon. With great sword and, like, orb, you know, these little uh, extra things that they brought in. You know, wall variations or, like, bounces and then, like, bridging moves and stuff like that. Um, those exist now, but Scythe was the OG. Scythe was the first to do it. And also... Uh, when you look at the highlight reel that Scythe has, you know, there's some weapons that can have some pretty crazy highlights. Gauntlets, um, Greatsword can, but when you look at, like, when you think Greatsword especially, I think Greatsword is the one to really compare it to, given it has, uh, so many options that you can do. I think the thing is with Greatsword, it doesn't look a lot of the times, at least nowadays, it doesn't look as smooth as, uh, as Scythe. I think that's a big thing with Scythe. When you look at the type of stuff you can pull off with Scythe, it really feels like anything is possible. There's not always, I mean, sure, there's always going to be optimal things, but there's not always one just clear path that you can take. Um, and I think that's why, like, you see someone like Sandstorm find so much success with it, right? That guy thrives off of creativity and being able to just, like, make up stuff as he goes and just trying out new things each time he has certain set patterns there are certain like i said set optimal things you can do right side light into end light and in my i'll actually uh link right now um use like a card or whatever it's called uh if you guys haven't check out the three tips for scythe i think that explains a lot of like the things um that are like good on scythe things you should like always like look out for on scythe but yeah, a lot of the time on Scythe, I mean, you can literally, there's just, there's just so much to learn and there's so much to always do. There's just never going to be a weapon like this again, where you have, um, this sort of options or it's like this game changing. Cause I just remember when Scythe first came out and it was like, just having this sort of creativity, like this many options, like it, it, there's just never going to be a time like this again, where a weapon is, uh, it's just this like special and this this basically impactful on the game. I mean, again, I think Greatsword is like the next thing to compare it to. But even then, like I'm saying, as far as when you look at the weapon and the impact it's had, Greatsword had its stay for a couple months. It absolutely dominated the market for a bit. But now we don't really get to see it too much, even though it is still an extremely you know, unique and interesting weapon in its own way. I want to go beyond, though, just the effect it's had on like competitive. When you look at Scythe, uh, just what it's done for the game overall. I think something that a lot of people don't really think about, they just kind of like, they, they understand, right? Because, oh, Scythe is cool. Well, when you look at like a content perspective, right? Or you look at like highlights on YouTube, um, Scythe videos for content creators, Scythe 
there's not a weapon that is no like is any more popular than scythe uh scythe is just it, it provides so many views it provides like so much content for people because you know why because it is the most interesting to weapon because you can do stuff like that you know you can just hit these cool little strings you can hit these like awesome dodge reads people love watching it and the proof is in the pudding at this point i mean i don't think there's ever gonna be a weapon that does this well or like is this interesting to people again um and scythe isn't even a new weapon anymore it's been out forever right the formula has stayed the same for the weapon um i'm just curious to see what exactly they'll end up like doing next i think another key factor i should add a lot of the scythe characters it's just a perfect storm when you look at like mordex to fate uh and most of the characters aside from i'd honestly say jiro jiro's the only scythe character that i feel like has had any amount of kind of like mediocre reception um but when you look at just when you look at the legends and what their kit is overall how it looks it is it is absolutely insane how not only do they have one of the most fun weapons to watch in scythe they also have just absolutely insane stats they have incredible like other weapon not necessarily other weapons right i'm playing nyx right now and guns aren't that great but like the sig kit uh overall is also just really cool the character designs themselves like first of all who doesn't want to play like basically a grim reaper right who doesn't want to play a werewolf both those characters nyx and mordex they are literally the two most popular legends in the game i don't know about nyx anymore but i know nyx overall has been um mordex without a doubt especially with the battle pass coming out is 100 percent um it's just like it's almost like they have more fun making the scythe characters i don't even feel like that's like too far of a reach i feel like a lot of the time when the animators or when the i don't know art team whoever is in charge of like designing the characters i feel like they just have an absolute blast when making a scythe character because it's like oh yeah scythe scythe is cool and then therefore when they get like in this in this idea in their head that okay scythe sick weapon let's see what we can do let's see what like new we can bring to the table and what kind of like crazy sigs we can bring in and that can be incorporated um into like the legends because if you look in my video the three tips um with scythe or whatever i called it that'll help you like instantly improve with scythe one of the tips was with side light into soft side light into nsig and a lot of the like scythe characters from fate to mordex to nyx you can do soft side light into nsig and if they have no dodge they can't jump out of it if you hit it close enough like that's very blatantly there was some like thought behind that like these people really did like think like okay this will 100 percent lead into this and you can't necessarily say that for all the characters that are made or all the weapons that are like put together i think a lot of the time um you have some signatures where it just you're like okay what was the purpose of even doing this and uh i can't think of necessarily it's hard to say like a very bad example because i feel like almost every character uh that should hit I, I feel like almost every character has like an example where oh you could do this sig and then you know you could follow it up here but nothing is as blatant as i feel like scythe side light into into end sig unless there's like a sig true combo um and no one also does it better than mordex i think mordex is one of the best characters when it comes to like being able to incorporate sigs with the moves you get them into like higher health you have side light end sig now you have what is this guy doing you know wait, wait, wait hold that thought Okay, putting it back. You have Scythe, uh, Side Light and Sig. You can do like Scythe, I don't know. You can do Side Light into Side Sig. You can do Reeds. You know, you can push him away into a D Sig. Like, there's so many options that can work with Mordex off of all his Scythe Sigs. And, like, his Gauntlet kit's very similar. But, you know, that's obviously not the topic of the video. Um, wait, do I catch him? Okay, maybe I overextended a little bit. Please. Whatever. Uh, but I think you guys get my point. Like, it just feels like sight is so special in so many ways and i think uh i just think out of all weapons in brawl it had to have the most love put into it and just what it's done and it's just what it's done for the game at this point it feels like it's very clear that when they were making it they obviously like they had that fun right they knew this weapon was like gonna be game changing and they put in the effort and they put in um the care behind it to really like show like this is what we can do these are the new features we're gonna add we're gonna add them and we're gonna do it well and on top of that we're gonna bring you characters that only amplify this that only add to the kit 
where you can use, you know, you can use moves and you can do things that are only going to make it look better, make it more fun to watch. And yeah, I, I just feel like it's undeniable that this weapon has benefited everyone in such a major way. And I should say as well, you know, a, a lot of what I talked about in the previous game, um, I'm not saying that Blue Mammoth Games, you know, or developers, whoever, right? I'm not saying there aren't other fun weapons to watch or that they didn't care when they made other weapons. It just feels like what they did with this weapon design-wise is so insanely good. Like, the just, I don't know, everything seemed to go right when making this weapon. I don't think this weapon's ever been bad. And I think the reason for that is because it's not carried by one specific move. The whole kit is just absolutely fantastic and it like i said it just all feels so good to use like you can make the weapon not kill at all just feel like you know the force really really weak but as long as you keep this flow and this ability to be so fluid with movements and have these you know not too many options but have a couple of different options i think you just have uh honestly a masterpiece of a weapon in brawlhalla but also, I will say, guys, who do you think I am? I'm not going to make a scythe video and not use Mordex. Like, I gotta. You know, this is probably the final game of the video, so. Um, but yeah, what's your, uh, you know, let's get some comment interaction. What do you guys think, like, your favorite scythe character is? If you play scythe, I mean, if you don't play scythe, uh, what scythe character do you hate the most? Or do you find scythe to be one of, like, the harder weapons for you to match up against? I mean, almost everyone is going to be playing up against scythe one way or another, right? There's, like... It's one of those weapons, like, maybe you don't see cannon that much, or maybe you don't see lance that much, depending on, like, what rank you are. Uh, but scythe? I feel like everyone sees scythe. Maybe maybe the weapons I gave were, like, not the best example, but I think you guys kind of understood, like, what I was getting at with that. Um, but yeah, I think I've laid out most of my thoughts on it. Uh, it's just something I thought about. I feel like I've had this idea to talk about it before, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like lately... I just have had, not, I, I was going to say, I've had the answers. I don't got the answers, Sway. But what I do have is I feel like I do have uh, an ability to kind of put together words. And hopefully, you know, it makes it easy for you guys to digest and maybe help understand, um, understand why, like, you know, this weapon or like, why, you know, maybe you thought, oh, this weapon is super cool. Like, why haven't they done a weapon like this? Or like, you know, what makes this weapon special? Like this weapon just feels different from the rest of the bunch. Well, hopefully maybe my way of saying it, uh, my way of just like portraying my thoughts to you, uh, if we do share similar thoughts on it, hopefully then it would allow you to maybe clear up some of your own takes or whatever. Uh, I can only hope really, you know? Also, I just wanna say just because I'm uploading today, you know, a Saturday, I don't normally upload on Saturdays, doesn't mean I'm not going to upload tomorrow as well. I do plan on uploading uh, tomorrow, you know, Sunday. Um, I've just been loving doing content lately. Like, I really feel like I've had a good string of ideas and, you know, just seeing the videos doing well and how much fun I've been having. Uh, it's meant a lot with the support and also, you know, just been having a blast. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you around. Peace, guys.